There was like early last week where I was driving and I felt so fucking lonely driving around here. And I realized like what it was like to be single in LA, which we were talking about on Saturday. It's so dark. Being oh my God, single dude. in LA is so dark. Were you on the apps when you were single? I, was on, I wasn't on Raya like you. You're on okay. fucking Raya. I can get on Raya. It's How probably do you get for on the it? best. How'd you get on it? You have to like go through this whole like submission process and then get referred by like friends to vouch for you. Who were the friends that referred you? Who were your ends? It's like fucking getting trying to get an audition at the comedy cellar. No, I, but, I but for dick and pussy. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> I don't even remember who my friends were that got me in. Um probably some like hot guy that I was like friends with. And you and you got you saw Channing Tatum on there. I did. I saw Channing Tatum on there. Yeah. There's not there's I've never like no, I was on Bumble and Tinder, and I was on like okay Cupid in the beginning, which dude, okay Cupid. Do you remember that one? Oh, okay Cupid led me down a dark path. It's pretty, it's pretty rough. I met this guy off okay Cupid. Yeah, <laughs> this was a long time ago. This sounds like the beginning of a true crime yeah. documentary. I meet this guy off of um, okay Cupid, and he's a headshot photographer. Not only that. He's the beginning a, of every murder story in Los yeah, Angeles yeah, yeah. is is pretty girl meets photographer on Sunset Boulevard. I'll do your headshots for free. Uh, Never seen again. So then I start dating him, but he's like crazy and he's really into Burning Man. It was oh like too many things. You know what I mean? So but how I was, long did you date him for? Like three months. I was like in my 20s. I was like, ah, he's just a Burning Man that's so, so open-minded of him. You know, <laughs> well, when listeners you're like, and viewers... Her fucking boyfriend is a 10, dude. Like, I, it's I, it's crazy. It's crazy how hot this guy is. Like, I looked at a picture of him on Saturday and I was pretty, it's pretty blown away. And he doesn't do comedy. Thank God. You know, so it's like, it's a double win. It is a double win. Um, but yeah, so that only lasted for a little bit. It only lasted for a little bit. And then there was things about him that I hated, like, <laughs> like he, viewed himself as being an artist. And so he took his burnt bagel and then he lacquered it and made a clock out of it. Oh, fuck that guy. <laughs> That's Were you crazy. there like for the creation of the clock? No, I just went, I was having breakfast in his house and I was like, what's up with this bagel? He's like, it's pretty cool, right? <laughs> I was like, I made that myself. Yeah, it's like, this is homeless art. This is homeless <laughs> art. Like, a bagel was going bad and then you're like, let's just make it a clock. Oh my God. But then. That's like a last resort. The other thing that was even worse than the bagel clock was he had, he was like, I'm making my own kombucha. Oh, that's, 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 that's a, like Burning Man, <laughs> kombucha, bagel art. Like that's three strikes. That's three right strikes. There. Headshot photographer. Yeah. Headshot photographer. <laughs> Everything about that is shameful. No, I know. And then he was like, um, he's like, I'm going to check on the scobies, like the little What's bacteria the that was growing for the kombucha. He was like, oh, gr and I was oh. like, I don't want like, like, uh, Kombucha that you brewed underneath your sink. Yeah, for sure. That's how you get, like... Dude, I used to, my... my, um, my yeah, uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, my cousin would, like, make, like, a tincture, weed tincture, and that shit. I think he used, like, great alcohol, and it was, like... Woo, that got me fucked up, dude. Really? Kombucha looks so gross. I know. Imagine a guy that I meet on OK Cupid, he pulls that out from underneath his face. Yeah, that sink. looks like, you know, that's like in the same realm as, do you remember that like trend where like women were eating their placenta? Oh, they're still yeah, doing they're it. Still in, they're still doing that? Yeah. Is it real? Is it? Is that like a legit thing? Does it like help you or? I'm sure there's health benefits, but I don't know. Like, yeah. like go for a run, folks. Have a green juice. <laughs> no. Don't eat the fucking placenta. A lot of bitches in LA eat their placenta. Not only that, they have it they have it blended up and put into a smoothie right after they give birth. And then it's, others encapsulate it. And they leave the hospital with their placenta in a cooler. It sounds like a QAnon conspiracy, but it's real. <laughs> yeah. Rugged Hollywood, they're fucking eating placentas. <laughs> Dan Schneider made all those <laughs> made all those kids uh, eat their placenta, and uh, <laughs> you know, then they sold their juice souls away. Oh my! I think God. it's a gnarly placebo effect. Right? Is not placebo not real? Placebo effect? Well, I don't know because it says it like cures postpartum depression. Uh, how how are you supposed to know? Like I I was I would have been Start depressed, but I ate my again. placenta and I feel great. <laughs> well, even then, even if you what if you eat the placenta and then you're still depressed? That's yeah, dark. Then, then you have Man, that's rough. <laughs> you're like and I you're just, just ate a, my you're just a guy who <laughs> or gal who ate placenta. <laughs> And you're still just sad. Is that a kink, too? Do you think there's, like, some guys are like, I want to fucking eat your placenta, bro? 
Maybe. There's I feel be. like I mean everything's a thing. I feel like there's guys that like will breastfeed off their wives. You know, I've I've thought about that. Really? Well not like like I've thought well I can't believe I'm coming out with this, but I have thought about like getting changed. There would be something for not to shit, but like if I pissed and my wife changed my diaper and put like baby powder on me, I think there'd be something very soothing about that. No. I, told my, I told my wife that and she's like, she's like pause. She goes, if you really want it, I'll pay a hooker to do it. No. <laughs> She, yeah. she's like, she's like, but I'm not fucking doing it. And that's love. <laughs> Good wife. She's like, there's no way I'm doing that shit. 